Hi there again, YouTube. Um, I thought it would be a good time for me to make a video where I can share some uh, some knowledge, some experience, things that I've learned while doing this electric sailboat project of mine. First and the most important tip that I can share with you guys is that if you're like me and you don't know anything about electricity I didn't know anything when I first started this a few years ago I just googled everything so I've done a lot of mistakes a lot of bad connections and that kind of stuff that have not only make the make the process a little bit slower more difficult, more st stressful, but also it has it have has cost me money. I think I broke around 1,000 euros worth of instruments by not using proper fuses or no fuses at all or doing bad connections, shorting things. That kind of stuff, yeah. So, my tip for you is get a uh, electrician or engineer or some kind of that kind of person who knows about electri electricity and knows about connections and making diagrams and that kind of stuff. It's gonna help you a lot. And yeah, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I have a lot of connections, a lot of cables that are not insulated correctly and that kind of stuff yeah I have to come back to those many times later on while I've learned more about electricity tip number two if you are if you have a boat like my size kind of about 24 feet 24 feet or bigger I would just suggest to go with uh, 48 volts for the motor. I have currently a 24 volt system here for the motor, but I have I've I've done the kind of a turbo turbo switch that I can put the uh, the four uh, 12 volt batteries in a uh, in a series to make them uh, 48 volts for the motor. But yeah, it's kind of a temporarily uh, solution for me because I don't have a charger solar panel charger that could charge for, for the uh, 48 volts it's only charging for 24 volts so I have to take them off from the uh, turbo mode to charge them so but next time I'm thinking about doing a system that I uh, keep the batteries that I use for the uh, motor to keep them in uh, 48 volts and uh, get a separate um, solar charger f to charge the batteries that are in 48 volts. So yeah, but that's uh, another thing. And for the motor, yeah, well, and let's wind it back to the uh, uh, the voltage system. Um, if you have a boat that it's smaller, it kind of around 20. Feet. I think you can get by with uh, 24 volts. Yeah, I can get by with 24 volts. Most of the situations, but there are situations when the wind is so strong, a headwind, and big waves. That the uh, 48 volts and the two kilowatts that I get from my motor, it's not enough. So that's why. But my motor is, it can use 12 to 48 volts. So. I can just put a more voltage there and I get more RPM from that. Yeah. Next tip is about the batteries. Get a lot of batteries. Get enough of, enough of batteries. I know it sounds kind of a corny, but yeah. You I think I don't think you never got enough power from the batteries. But I know the size of the boat and the weight of the batteries are gonna constrict 
amount of batteries that you can put on your boat, but well, yeah. What's the uh, the good amount of batteries? Battery power? Amp hours? I'm not sure. I have a uh, 500 amp hours on 24 volts. That's that's pretty much. But I would probably like to have more. If I would do this all over again and I have more <laughs> money, I would go with the uh, lithium-ion batteries. I would build like a big, big cells from the uh, the small batteries that you can see on, on well, you buy them from eBay and all over. The, I think the same battery cells are used on uh, Tesla cars, so uh, I would try to. They cost uh, around three times more than the uh, AGM batteries that I have over here. But yeah, they also weighed like half of the and the you can discharge them more. Ooh, and yeah, solar panels. Well, again, get enough solar panels. Uh, um, well, my tip is to get as much as you can fit on your boat. You never have enough solar panels. But what is more important, I think, is the uh, charge controller for the solar panels. Go with them a little bit more expensive, the uh, MPPT controllers. They on well, I have one over here, and I uh, changed the uh, from the the cheaper ones, the uh, PW something. Yeah, well, they are the basic cheaper ones, and then the, you have to uh, the uh, MPPT ones, which are better. And I got around. 30 to 50 percent more amps on my batteries while using them. So let's move on. Wind generators. Well, my uh, experience with wind generators, they are okay, but you have to remember that they make noise. And they also, some of them, they vibrate. You can get them pretty cheap from, from China. But I don't think they are the best ones out there. And the best ones, they cost like at least $1,000. So then they are not that cheap. Uh, but yeah, I am i haven't used my Mine is kind of big. It's like 500 or 600 uh, watts. It's the, uh, the power of, of the, uh, my wind generator. And yeah, it makes enough noise and vibrations that I don't use it that much. I've used it only a couple of times. And yeah, I'm thinking about I might get one of those vertical cylinder uh, wind generators for this summer because I have the, the pole already there and it's connected to the, uh, the frame of the... Um, it's also supporting the the frame for the uh, solar panels so I'm gonna put that up either way next summer once I get my boat from the dry dock so but I'm I might not put the um the old it's over here yeah this is my <laughs> this is my uh, wind generator so yeah I might not use this anymore I if I got the money, I'm gonna buy the uh, the vertical ones. Let's try those up. I've got the uh, the uh, electrician, the motor. Well, the motor power is up to you. I think for this size of boat, uh, around 20 feet long boat, you can go with up, up around two kilowatts electric motor. But if uh, bigger, uh, I would go to four to five to eight kilowatts. It depends on the size of your boat, but yeah, go a little bit more powerful. You might need it when, when the weather gets tough. Uh, cover the batteries, yeah. Well, the amp hours did I mention? I have the amp hours of 500 amp hours in 24 volts. I know there are a lot of, lot of people there who knows more about sailing, so 
those of you, you can get by with less battery power because you can sail in a lot more different situations that I would sail. So yeah, take that on uh, consideration when you, when you do that. Solar panels, yeah, I have more than 500 watts. You can get by less if you are willing to charge them on shore, the batteries. I have a charger for the shore power, but I rarely use it because my uh, solar panels are that big. Yeah, I think I covered them all. So, if you have any questions you want to ask, drop them below on the uh, comments section and uh, I'll try to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you soon again. Bye bye.